Okay, hello everyone again. Uh, hi from uh, Arlington, Virginia. We are here at our regional life-changing event here in Arlington, Virginia for the last two days and we have almost 300 people here. Mm -hmm. And I have my other special guests here with me. So this is Annie Edwards, a salad master dealer in, based in Chicago. And I have a new guest here with me, so I will let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Natasha Kleinbach, and currently I'm a senior uh, consultant with my dad, Eric Kleinbach, at his dealership in Orlando, Florida, Florida New Era. And I'm just basically getting trained on how to run a dealership so that eventually, whenever my dad wants to step down, then I'll be able to run the dealership and we can just keep the dealership in the family. Yeah. So how long your dad's been with Salad Master? He has been with Salad Master since 1986. So 30, what, 35? 30. Seven? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. So since A 19, long time. yeah, 1985? 86. 1986. So that's how long he's been with Salad yeah. Master. So this is a second generation dealer, so yeah. dealer in making, because in she's going to eventually take over her dad's business, and she's learning from bottom up. Mm -hmm. So you just don't come into the dealership and become a manager, yeah, and yeah. become a dealer immediately. Your dad is actually teaching you from bottom up how mm -hmm. to become from consultant to senior consultant, distributor, and all the way to the dealer. So you understand the process so mm -hmm. you can run your dealership properly after him. Yeah? Exactly. So how old are you now? I just turned 23 in Madrid. So we just celebrated her birthday in Madrid. And uh, you just graduated also this uh, yes, year from college. So what was your major? Television production and broadcasting. Television production and broadcasting. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with uh, next to a pro <laughs> yeah. sitting with my uh, generic studio here yeah, set up in the hotel it's lobby. <laughs> it's great. She does have really good mics. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, Natasha, mm -hmm. we know each other now um, what two years now. Mm -hmm. We've been uh, together on so many trainings and yeah. so many events and we always have fun. Yeah, We, we, we always, always make do. it fun event for ourselves yeah. also. <laughs> beside learning and uh, running our businesses. But uh, as a young person coming into this business and you're watching your dad almost your entire life mm -hmm. running this business, um, what do you feel like you know, success means to your family? To me, um, I feel like since I've been raised in this, I have definitely had a lot of stages throughout being in Salad Master and uh -huh. wanting to be in it that I thought success meant different things. Mm -hmm. And at the start to me what success meant was it really just meant making a sale. Uh -huh. And the longer I've been in this, I've started realizing that it really has nothing to do with nothing the sale. Nothing to do with sale. Yeah? It doesn't have anything to do with the sale. And the definition to me of what success is, it is the realization, the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Mm -hmm. And having something that you think is worthy of your time mm. and your efforts and going after that, I really feel like that makes you successful. Ah, so finding finding what moves you, yeah, in the mm -hmm. long term. It, it, this is not a short term game, yeah. You mm -hmm. work one month and you're gone. No, mm. you're working actually for your staying in this game and staying in this business long term, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what makes this, I think, business also very different. If you want to be successful, you have to be kind of think ahead and mm -hmm. be, you know, looking forward to next five, ten, yeah, fifteen years. Yeah, it's about years. longevity. Yeah? It's not about speed or yeah. how quick you can rise to the top. Yeah, it's how to quickly become a millionaire in one year or something yeah. like that. So it is a long game for to be successful in this business. So. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any, besides your dad, is obviously your big mentor in your life, but besides your dad, do you have any other mentors, uh, anybody who you look up to and, you know, Honestly, in, in this business, there's so many people. And um, the beauty of it is that you truly get to connect with individuals and you really make long-lasting friendships. Uh -huh. Like, you're someone that I look yeah. up to a lot. Oh, thank you. And since we met in San Francisco, I've learned so many things from you. Uh -huh. But there's also people like Melissa Curry mm -hmm. and Scott Curry from... Um, Charleston. South, yeah, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. 
And with them, especially most, I've learned so many things. I remember I stayed with them for a week, mm -hmm. and in their dealership, you were, actually went to them. Yeah, to well, I stayed dealership. at their home. They opened uh -huh. their home to me, and I was like, wow, this, that was my first time meeting Melissa, I think. And I was like, thank you so much for letting me stay in your home. And I went, I went on a show with her, and I was like, why aren't you doing this? And she's like, we don't do that. That's old. That's uh -huh. that's 30 years ago. And it was so interesting because it gave me this whole perspective and change on we don't have to do everything the way that my dad's taught me uh -huh. how to do things. So yeah. it taught me that I can be unique in my own shows. Yes. Um, so I learned that, but also I've learned so much from um, just talking to Rob and Ruby. I've learned a lot from talking to JL and James Tanti. JL is an amazing woman oh and my gosh. she has uh, so much uh, wealth of uh, knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom and uh, all these years of yeah. being you know so successful in this business and being on top for mm -hmm. they've been master dealers and elite master dealers I don't know how many a years in a times. Row. so they're one of the biggest biggest dealers mm -hmm. in in the US and in North America probably mm -hmm. but we have such a wealth of yeah? yeah wealth of knowledge mentors and all these people you know, like wonderful people that you just you know want to be around yeah mm -hmm. so it's not just plain business but i think that's that personal yeah. relationships are really great so what about uh what about you uh, thinking already at 23 you're already thinking about owning your own business running your own business mm -hmm. and being self-employed and uh, you know mm -hmm living in this world of the entrepreneurship, but um, do you have, I'm sure you have fears and um, don't, you don't like um, feel like you may not be ready yet or something like that yet. How do you deal with your doubts and fears? So I love that you asked this because I, I know that I've only been working with Salad Master probably for like the last two and a half years. Uh -huh. And I've only gotten full time and serious in the last like three months uh -huh. since I graduated. And at first, the fears were, is everyone going to think what I'm doing is silly? Yeah. That was the first fear. So I think it's a, a lot of young people are worried about that. Yeah, what my th friends gonna think about it? A lot of young it? people think that going to sales is like. It's like something bad. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people think if you say that you're a salesperson, it's like you're saying a, a dirty word. Yeah. And um, but I, at the end of the day, it's like every job is a sales sales job. Yeah. yeah? Because we have to sell our skills, we have to sell our mm -hmm. jobs, and in, you have to in sell a yourself. different way, yeah? yeah, we are all doing some kind of sales. Mm -hmm. So mastering that skill of sales it's like I mm -hmm. think it's a key to be successful mm -hmm. in this life in any field yeah in any field so how you how you sharpen your sales skills so I'm just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat just doing it over and over again over and over and what helped me get over the the fear of like Ugh, is anyone gonna think I'm stupid or weird uh -huh. for having a sales job um, the more I did it and the more comfortable I got with it I became more confident uh -huh. and then I s realized that I wasn't afraid mm -hmm. or embarrassed to tell someone I was in sales uh -huh. because I I felt better about being in sales for me than working for someone for else. For someone else and you have uh, the full control of your mm -hmm. uh, salary, your income, your mm -hmm. hours and all that stuff. Yeah. Plus um, I really enjoy that I get to work with my, my family. Mm -hmm. Working with my dad is something that I know that Right now, I really, I really like to do it, and yeah. sometimes we bicker, but it's definitely worth like it. Like any because, family. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely worth it because um, I've, I've been around other people that don't have the chance to be around their parents, uh -huh. and I just want to get as much time with my parents as much with, as possible. With as much as time that's possible, that's mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's given to you right now, yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think the older we get, we miss those interactions and we yeah. miss those wisdom that you can get from your parents you know your parents are always that 100% uh, behind you you know they mm -hmm. have that full faith in their children and they always and they, just love you they just put that their 100% into their kids yeah mm -hmm. so you always can rely on them you always know they have your back yeah you always know that your parents are your best you know yeah people that are gonna cheer on you yes. when it's needed so mm -hmm. um, I know your, I know your dad personally, so I know how he is and everything. But um, 
Is it hard to work in the business, same business with your family? Um, I feel like it's not necessarily hard to, but sometimes I feel like it can be hard for my dad to get on me about certain things. Uh -huh. I feel like also with me sometimes I can slack off because uh -huh. I'm like, oh, it's my dad. My yeah, dad's yeah, yeah. telling me to do stuff. Yeah. But um, whenever I start putting more pressure on myself by adding other people into the mix, uh -huh. so whenever I have other people in the dealership working with us, it and makes it to where it's not just about yeah. me. And it makes it so much easier to be the person I need to be because it's not for me, it's for them. Mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. for everyone around me. Yeah. But, you yeah. feel that responsibility yeah. for your team that, hey, I need to perform mm -hmm. so my team can also perform exactly. well. Yeah? But it's so easy to let, oh, well, it's just dad. It's my dad telling me I need to do this. Or yeah. have you called those leads yet? And I'm like, oh. So um, it's, I've been on myself harder about like making sure I'm following through with everything. Uh -huh. But also that it's not just me. It's the team. But I think it's also a learning curve, you know, with mm -hmm. your age, you know, you need that experience to go through those mm -hmm. steps and bec uh, become who you want to be in the future. As a good dealer, you need to, you know, have, you know, good team skills, good communication skills, good focus and be mm -hmm. persistent and consistent and all that stuff. What kind of daily habits do you have right now that keeps you in top notch? Um, I have a couple daily habits. Um, such as I try to make sure I look at my calendar every day mm -hmm. in the sense of not just look at it, but actually go through it. And if things get moved around or rescheduled, uh -huh. I try to reestablish new things in their place. Mm -hmm. So if someone's like, oh my gosh, like I can't do the cooking show at yeah. three because yeah. something crazy happened, um, I try to get some, something else I can do yeah. with my time. Um, I also, I comb through leads. We have a lot of leads right now mm -hmm. from Paw Tree. So we've been combing, combing through those, and we're starting to do the customer service calls. Mm -hmm. So I try to do those every day. Um, if I'm not already cooking or working an event, mm -hmm. I just try to do something that will make the boat go faster. Oh, yes. That's what we learned in Madrid. Yeah. So uh, we had a speaker who was a gold Olympic medalist mm -hmm. and from, from rowing team, yeah? Yeah, from, um, from the UK. You, uh, British, uh, British rowing team. Mm -hmm. And he talked about, you know, focusing on that, um, th have that uh, laser sharp focus yeah. on what's going to move your boat faster. Yeah? yeah. Is this activity really going to help you mm -hmm. to reach your goals? Is this activity or talking to this person really going to do a difference and make your boat go mm -hmm. faster? So um, he brought that to perspective so we can think every action that we make, yeah, mm -hmm. we do it with an intention. Yeah. We've just not just just do it for no reason, but mm -hmm. do it with an intention and specific, you know, thing in mind why I'm doing it and yeah. why I should be doing it. Yeah, yeah? exactly. Uh, what else? Uh, what was? Uh, 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 we just came back from Madrid, so yes. we were in Madrid last month, mm -hmm. and now we are in DC area and. Uh, with this work, we also get to travel a lot. Yeah, I love we it. have oh. events like all over U.S., mm -hmm. all over the world, and as the dealers, we can attend to all these wonderful mm -hmm. events and bring our team with us. So, mm -hmm. um, what was your most memorable uh, travel uh, hmm. since you've That's been so hard. last two years it's of so South Madrid? It's obviously Madrid. It's oh, Madrid. Yes, we have. also had the pleasure of being with my beautiful friend, Annie, <laughs> and we went and took a train to Seville. Yeah. And it was amazing. It's it's something that I'm going to have memories of yeah. forever. And we had a good time. It was super mm -hmm. hot. We had it very... It wasn't that hot. Uh, She's just not from <laughs> Florida. Uh, so from Florida person, it was very normal, very mm -hmm. usual. It was honestly a little cool for a Florida person. For Florida person, it was yeah. actually cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> So for me, it was just extremely hot, <laughs> yeah. but um, we made the best out of it. Mm -hmm. And even though we didn't have that much time, we mm -hmm. had to really squeeze that one day for that mm -hmm. extra trip to, you know, before our mm -hmm. Madrid conference. And so, you can speed walk. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> people that know me, they know me. They, they know that I walk really fast. <laughs> even though I'm short and petite, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize how fast I walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can basically run behind me. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, as, uh, as you progress in this business and as you grow as a person, your, your personality is constantly getting updated and changed. Mm -hmm. 
what what would you like to see in the future, Natasha? I would like to see someone that doesn't have any doubts about their confidence mm -hmm. in their self. Because I, I count myself as a very confident mm -hmm. person. I'm very mm -hmm. sure of myself. Mm -hmm. But I still have moments where someone that like... Doubt. Something happens. In. Something yeah. happens to where... Let's say uh, someone calls you and they you already made the mm -hmm. transaction, but they say, "Hey, like I'm actually gonna have to just wait a little bit and delay it." And like that kind of hits your ego, and it's not about you. Yeah. There's other moving factors. Yeah. <clears throat> so I really want future Natasha to not have doubts be able to to creep into her mind. Uh huh. And I also want future Natasha to know 100% for sure that she can depend upon upon herself because uh -huh. I'm I'm working on my trust with myself every single day mm -hmm. and it starts with whenever you tell yourself I'm going to work out every day mm -hmm. or whatever your promise yes. is I'm going to do 30 30 if you actually do it you improve your trust because yeah. you didn't break a promise yeah. and thus creates more confidence so I'm trying every day to really be truthful with mm -hmm. myself and follow through with what I said I was going to do. Mm -hmm. So that temporary pain and temporary struggle mm -hmm. will bring you that long-term success and long-term mm -hmm. benefits. So a lot of people kind of uh, shy away mm -hmm. from being in pain, being in struggle, being mm -hmm. like going to gym every day yeah. and you know pumping your muscles pumping and do, iron. yes, and doing stuff and feeling mm -hmm. that pain, which is that actually a very you know safe pain mm -hmm. because you are in a controlled environment mm -hmm. and by your body still feels that pain mm -hmm. and then after a month two months three months you see that body yeah. and you are proud of that body yeah, yeah. That, that you accomplished you got some nice muscles yeah. you know <laughs> six pack whatever you're working for mm -hmm. so beside your business and um, your other uh, things that you're doing in your life right now what are the passions you have? I know you model mm -hmm. so you still modeling I still do but the thing about my modeling is I only modeled because I want to do acting ah, so I okay, love okay. acting acting is really where my heart is with uh -huh. everything like I also love nutrition I love educating people uh -huh. and teaching and helping people yeah. but another part of my heart is for acting and TV and film and so modeling, honestly, is something that I've done to get me closer to acting. Oh, closer to acting, okay. And I can feel that, you know how you just feel when things are happening in your life and shifts yeah. are happening? I can feel that I am entering a shift where I'm kind of taking a step back from modeling uh -huh. to allow myself to be in Solid Master fully, both mm -hmm. feet in, jumping in the deep jumping end. Jumping in the... And... Um, if I have any opportunities come to me during this real time of just grinding, focusing, yeah. building up the business, then, and I can take it, I will. But um, really, I'm just putting my blinders on and focusing on this because I'm using Salad Master, um, one, to help me build myself up, but mm -hmm. also as a vehicle. Vehicle. To, for my dreams. To, your, to reach your real dreams, mm -hmm. yeah? And to be closer and be able to do it on your own and mm -hmm. not be dependable on, you, on you, uh, nobody else. Yeah. So you are the driver, you are the engine, you are the mm -hmm. person who is behind that yeah. vehicle. So interesting. So yeah. if somebody right now may be doubting themselves or maybe, you know, they don't feel like they're up to, like a younger, you know, in their 20s, in their te late teens, you know, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, trying to figure out where to go to college, what to do with their life after high school, or, you know, what to do, what to do as a young person, just starting in a real, you know, full-time job mm -hmm. and real life uh, that comes to them. What would you like to tell them? I would say don't be afraid to try everything. So. And also don't be afraid to, to make it clear when you're done with something. Uh, I remember right after high school, all my friends would always be like, you've had every single job there is. I really did. I had done bartending, waitressing, um, I had did retail, I did um, landscaping, uh -huh. I did pretty much everything. and. I was notorious for if I worked the job and I didn't like it, I also worked in a doctor's office, uh -huh. if I didn't like it, I would quit. Yeah. And so many of my friends would be like, you can't just keep quitting after working at a place for two months, three months. And I, I, my response was, I didn't like it at three months, so I'm not going to like it at a year. So you have also, as a young person, you have that comfort. You don't have bills and rent and mm -hmm. mortgage yet. So 
you have that time in mm -hmm. your 20s or late teens mm -hmm. to start experimenting with different jobs, with different yeah. uh, positions, with different uh, fields. Mm -hmm. So you know later in a year or two or three, oh, this is what I like. Yeah. Or this is really feels good to me. Mm -hmm. Because if you've tried so many things and you know when things just don't feel right, yes? Yeah. So you, I think you develop yeah, that gut feeling maybe, mm -hmm. or, or your intuition, whatever you want to call it. I really do listen to it. If it says no, I'm like, nope. So, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people think like, oh, the universe or the God, whoever, they're going to just send the message. Like, they're going to tell you yeah. what to do. It doesn't happen like that, yeah? yeah? It comes through those tiny uh, ideas in your head, tiny, those gut feelings, those mm -hmm. tingling inside, that joy, that happiness, whatever you're feeling yeah. inside of you, it gives you that um, kind of uh, those hints, yes. Yes? yes? And if you follow those hints, and if you follow your gut feeling, a lot of people say follow your gut feeling, yeah? But you also need to differentiate between is this your really your gut feeling, mm -hmm. or it's your ego, or it's society, or other things that influenced by other people. Mm -hmm. So listening to yourself and being comfortable with who you are inside out is such a big step for especially younger people. Yeah, mm -hmm. as as I get older, I'm I'm much more confident when I was in my 20s or yeah. even in my 30s. You know. So now I'm almost close to 50. It's crazy. Because <laughs> when I first met her, I was in San Francisco with her, and I was like, we're the two youngest people here. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a, it was a um, South Master training for mm -hmm. distributors, and we were in San Francisco for three days. Mm -hmm. And she comes up to me and says, oh, we are the youngest people in this <laughs> whole entire group, you know, I can relate to you, and the blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I was just laughing at her, and I'm like, my oldest daughter is older than you. And, and she's like, what, you have kids? <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. Mm -hmm. So the, but I think um, age doesn't really define you. Mm -mm. Age doesn't define you and you can look your best, you can be your best, you can uh, create your best stuff at any age. Mm -hmm. So age shouldn't really stop us. So yeah. uh, don't be afraid to start over, or recreate yourself. Or like you said, be confident when you're done to say you are done and be oh, able yeah. to move on to the next thing without dragging that yeah. baggage and say, hey, I have, to, because I am obligated or mm -hmm. I'm trying to look good in front of something or somebody and you, you are not doing anybody favor, really, not to yourself, not to others, mm -hmm. because you're not giving your 100%, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're just being, you're just wasting your time yeah. and just pretending to be somebody who are, you're not, you are not. Mm -hmm. And I think those kind of actions, that, that, that makes you real, purpose and real dream job delayed mm -hmm. you know instead of being there already yeah you are dragging something in the past mm -hmm. and just delaying your next step your next best thing that could happen to your life so I reinvented myself professionally a couple times mm -hmm. in my you know career professionally or, or personally whatever but it's not an easy way of doing it I think it's it's different it's um, for every person it's different but it's not easy mm -hmm. it, it takes courage it takes determination it takes focus it takes hard work it takes really knowing hey I can do it yeah. you know I'm worth it or I'm, I, I, I can get over it or, mm -hmm. you know what a, that faith in you yeah. yesterday I had an interview with Chris mm -hmm. from New York dealer also for 22 years he has so much wisdom and everything. Mm -hmm. He's just a terrific guy with really wealth of knowledge and you know mm -hmm. so much to learn from him. Yeah. I want to tell him, Chris, be my mentor. But he, that's what he said, you know, that that faith, that 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 unshakable faith in yourself. Yeah. And and he's very spiritual. He 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 prays every day. He. He follows Bible to the T, and you know mm -hmm. he brings. His wife is a minister. Oh, his wife is a minister yeah, too. For, I didn't for, know uh, that for uh, the youth. For the youth, mm -hmm. so I know or at least he, she runs. Yeah, like a Bible study. Bible at their study church. at the church. I know she's involved. So they're very, very active in their church. They're very active spiritually. They're mm -hmm. very, you know, 
Um, it can be really anything for anybody. Yeah? It, can, it doesn't have to be Jesus or Christianity or whatever. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you, whatever you believe in, have that faith. Yeah? Yeah. And, uh, have the, the foremost, have that faith in you mm -hmm. that you can get over it and you can do it too. Yes. So it was, a, again, big, big pleasure to see my bestie yes. from my salad master bestie again mm -hmm. here in uh, Arlington, Virginia. But I also want to do this interview, so maybe these younger people will will get that encouragement yeah. that you know it's doable, and mm -hmm. at any age you can recreate yourself. Absolutely. So, so that's why that's it for today. So thank you, Natasha, again, thank you, Annie. accepting my invitation to be on my podcast, and yeah. we need to do one on yours too. Yes. What's um, your podcast name? After Class Coffee. After Class Coffee. So uh, you're on YouTube. I'm on YouTube and Spotify, and Spotify. I'm working on getting it on Apple and every other streaming platform. And I'm going to help you make yes, sure that yours is on Spotify also, yeah. and Apple and everything yeah. else. So we're going to do that on mine too. So. Thank you again. Thank you. We are uh, we are going. I'm going home today, but mm -hmm. Natasha, should you stay one more night, yeah? Yeah. And I got and to you go guys, stage today. Yeah, and then she's one of our speakers here at our event, and you guys are leaving tomorrow, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, again, we had a again another excellent guest here Thank from you. our uh, Salad Master family and. I hope to see you soon again. You will. I don't know where, but we'll see somewhere, you some, somewhere. Somewhere in the world, we're gonna see each other again. Yeah, probably so. somewhere new. Okay, good, right. to, good, good to know. Because we always have such a uh, fun time, yes, yes. and we learn a lot, mm -hmm. and we are also soaking up a lot of information, mm -hmm. and we love hanging out with our fellow dealers and yeah. our fellow consultants that come to these events, and it's always, it's always big, big fun. I think I don't. Um, I feel like all my, you know, um, uh, insecurities just fly away when I come to oh, these same. events, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm like, wow, you know, I, all these people are willing to mentor me. All these people are looking up to me, too. And all these people are, you know, uh, here in the one purpose, one mission to help others and change lives. Change yeah? lives. So we are all here like a big, big life changers. Right. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you so much, Annie.